Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be a part of Bellator 214 on Saturday night, January 26th, Henry Corrales. Henry, appreciate the time. When this fight was announced, I was like, hot damn, this is an awesome fight. Uh, when, when you get the phone call for, to say, hey, Aaron Pico's a fight offer, what, what went through your mindset? I was feeling the same way you felt, dude. Thanks for having me. And yeah, I'm just super pumped, dude, ready to go. Uh, obviously, I, I think when you think about Aaron Pico, I mean, obviously he's he's uh, been this prospect. I mean, even before he even actually you know made you know made the decision to go to MMA, everyone kept talking about. It. And I, I think the body shot is, is a thing we we see with him. For you, what what besides you know what he's done with those body shots, what sticks out to you about him? I think everything, dude. He's good. He's legit. You know, I think all his hype is justifiable, and uh, we're we haven't taken preparations lightly for this guy. So we're putting in all the necessary work, dude. We're definitely in it to win it. Do you feel like people are sleeping on you in this fight? Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's a weird thing to get caught up in how people feel about you. You know, I don't give a fuck, dude. (laughs) I mean, I mean, do you, do you at all feel like that, you know, people view you as the underdog? Is that, does that fuel you? Yeah, dude, I've been viewed at a lot worse by people. So, underdog that's kind of cool so whatever it, it, uh, obviously we're talking we're still we're just under a month out from this fight man what, what's uh what's preparations like for this one in comparison to, to say your other fights um you know the deeper the deeper i get in this game you know it's uh everything's just taking more serious dude and uh everything just always look, just striving to better better myself in all aspects so everything's just elevated man especially it's a bigger stage you know, so pretty excited. Did you ever think you'd be fighting on a car with Fedor Milianenko? I just fought. I just fought with on the same card as him in, in uh, October. So this would be the second time. I definitely didn't think I was gonna fight on a card with him twice. So that's pretty cool. Wait, is it kind of nostalgic for you to? You know, I mean, obviously, anyone who's been around MMA for a long time, Fedor is. Everyone knows who he is. I mean, for you, was it like being around him? Where you're like, wow, this is this is MMA royalty. Yeah, that, and then, you know, uh, Benson Henderson desensitized me to that, being around legends, you know, because that dude is, he's he's a high-quality man, you know, inside and outside, mostly outside the cage, too, you know, he's just, he's a family man, he's super legit in all aspects of life, like, he's, Benson, Benson's, Benson's the man, dude. Remember last time we talked, you were talking about the story where he helped change your tire when you had just moved out uh, yeah. you know, to to the MMA lab. I mean, any any new kind of uh, interesting interactions the fans would would love to hear about uh, you and Benson? Not so much, dude. He does all the little things, man. You know, he does all the little things. You know, just he's just a good dude. So he's a cool guy to be around. Uh, of course, it's the holiday season. You're, you're still getting in that sparring. As we're talking, it's New Year's Eve, and of course, you were just uh, getting a training session in. I mean, were you able to enjoy the holidays at all in, in preparations for this one? Dude, you know what? You know, my thing is, is like, uh, I got into this game when I was like 24 years old. And so uh, I've already partied, dude. I've already celebrated so many different types of holidays. I've already fucking, I've already, I've already done it, dude. So. I, I don't mind, you know, missing out on some Christmas food, you know. I I still uh I still see, you know, I still see my people and stuff. So, and you know, the fights fights January twenty sixth. So after that, you know, what I mean, we'll get back at it. And and this late January date for you in the form is kind of becoming an annual tradition Ooh, for you. Third third time, I, obviously you're you're from Cali. I mean, yeah. um, you know, for you, I mean, is, is it just you know, is is it just kind of one of those you know, like that is your Christmas? You know, that last Saturday of January. Hey man, I know I'm going to be in the form fighting. Hell yeah, dude! There's nothing like fighting in front of some familiar faces, dude. And it's like, dude, this shit's not getting old. This is the third year in a row, and I'm, like, more pumped than the first time I fought there because uh, I've had some good nights there. So, yeah, we're, we're going to get after it, dude. I mean, Aaron doesn't have the experience of other guys that you have fought. I mean, and obviously we, we know you fought the who's who in Bellator. I mean, but do you kind of feel like this is the fight that ultimately is going to propel you into that title shot? I think so, you know. I think so. This this will be a uh, five straight. So, uh, you know, there's no denying that, man. 
I mean, and, and we've talked about. It. I mean, ever since you made that move out to MMA Lab, everything has completely changed for you. you haven't you haven't lost with the full camp? Uh, you know, because yeah. you, you took so many of the, those short notice fights. I mean, do you start to kind of look at that 145 pound division and say, okay, you know what? This fight gets me here. This fight gets me there. I mean, you're kind of at that point now. Yeah, you know, just chipping away, just chipping away, dude, and showing up. You know, showing up to training every single day, and. Yeah, man. This guy wants to say hi. He's jumping all over me. So what's your cat's name? That's Peppers. Peppers. How, how long have you had him? I've had this guy for a couple months now. He's cool. He's low maintenance, dude. I, I rarely see him, and he's an inside cat, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know we've always talked about you, you tend to read books uh, You know, while, you, while you're training. Anything in this camp to, that's kind of uh, got your mind off the fight game? Uh, right now I'm reading, uh, the power of the subconscious mind, which is pretty cool. Interesting read. A little classic. Um, I just got, I got some Bukowski coming up here, some nonfiction. So staying busy with the reading while I'm resting. Trying to kill two birds with one stone. I mean, as you think about the fight with Aaron, I mean, is there anything you point to to say, I know I have to do this to, to, to get the victory? You know what, dude? To be honest with you, with I, it's the same approach with every single guy. You know what I mean? I got to make sure I fucking hold up my end of the bargain and I bring my best self to the table. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what I'm focused on. You know, if, yeah, we've watched tape. Yeah, we know what he's done. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's like, homie, you got to show up and you got to bring the fucking heat, you know? And in order for me to show up and bring the heat, I got to train every single day, a couple times a day. I got to eat the clean food. I got to read, you know, just super basic, simple life, you know, that a lot of people don't see about the fight game. You know, this shit's, this shit's not very, uh, it's not extravagant. It's not like, you know, it's, it's not like other type of professional athletes. Or at least it isn't for me, you know, I, it's just simple, man. I've talked to Aaron in the past, and one of the things we talked about is his his superstitions. And one of the things he says, he never will step on a red line. That's just like his thing. He won't step on it. Do you have any superstitions? Like on fight day, you're like, I can't do this, or I got to do this? No, not so much, dude. Yeah, not really. But but the thing with Aaron is we we've seen the knockout power he's had. And we all know his wrestling credentials, but we haven't seen it in MMA. Is that surprising to you? No, I I think I've seen some tape of him uh, going for some takedowns and stuff. Yeah, but there's I've not much it, of it. He, he's 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 no. primarily right on relied on striking. I mean, is that kind of what you expect out of him, or is it kind of like hey, I think once he kind of sees what I can do in my stand up, that he he's going to go back to his wrestling roots. Yeah. Well, don't, dude, I'm not, the guy's a wrestler, you know, he's a good wrestler, great wrestler, you know, and he, he also, he throws hands too. So we're expecting him to go for takedowns for sure. And, and uh, of course it's all January 26th live on the, uh, Paramount network to zone where you can catch these fights. Uh, it's great for me now that I, I don't, ha- I cut the cord. I have YouTube TV to, to watch nice. these fights on the zone for you. Is, is that become kind of a tool for you with the zone? Cause the, all the fights are now there and really allows you to go back on your own fights and, and other fights to kind of dissect things. Oh man. I don't even have the app or whatever. <laughs> I <I'm> really, <laughs> I don't. I don't even have TV, dude. I don't even watch TV, so uh, I, I go on YouTube for fights and stuff. Is there is there any type of fights that you like to go out and watch? Like like you know what? It doesn't matter what the promotion is. Dude, is there I watched, something? I watched that cyborg fight, dude. That was crazy, man. That was that was a wild fight, the John Jones fight. Yeah, I watch. You know, I, I watch the fights for sure. You know, I like to get together with my buds and uh, watch some fights, eat some food. I'd say it was before that cyborg fight. Like I just had this gut feeling, and, and you know what the thing about it, about that fight was, you know, people are like, "Oh man, look at him throwing down," but I'm like, not no, it was Nunez throwing down, but the accuracy that she was landing to me was what stuck out to me. Yeah, she was super long, you know, and cyborg was just super re- reckless, you know, and didn't really respect her power, and that's the game. I mean, she goes up, and and that's kind of been the talk about it: is fighters maybe more going up in weight 
um, you know, maybe trying to get advantage of, of not being the fighter that's, that's lost, uh, you know, X amount of pounds. But have you, have you ever thought about maybe, maybe, you know what, an opportunity comes up, maybe I go up to, you know, up in weight. Not so much, dude. I'm pretty light, you know. I'm like 160, 59, so it's, uh, it's, I, I, I kind of like being a featherweight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, as I mentioned, it all goes down January the twenty sixth. Bellator two hundred and fourteen. Henry Man, as always, I appreciate time. Uh, of course, let everyone know they can find you on social media and all those sponsors that help support you. Hell yeah, dude! Thanks for having me. Uh, you can go mainly on uh, Henry Krause MMA on Instagram. That's where you can find me.